where not only are we building the most capable models like Gemini 2.5 Pro, we are also building the most capable per rupee or per watt. It's very heartening to see startups building solutions that handle the diversity of languages and cultures in India. We are helping the Indian startups. There is that misconception in India that today, okay, DeepSeek provides a much higher level of efficiency in terms of cost performance. Well, Gemini Flash is actually higher performing per rupee per watt than DeepSeek. It's not lack of talent that we have. Often, sometimes we lack that ambition and that confidence to take on really, really tough challenges. Uh, and there is no shortage of challenges. Yesterday, I met the startup which is into brain mapping, one of the said two startups in the world globally, which is uh, using AI for uh, brain mapping. We have been taking this very collaborative approach to make these models available to startups. So it was again very heartening to see Sarvam, which again, I really respect those guys a lot. I've known them personally for many years. We see this vision of a very powerful universal digital assistant uh, that can start serving as a personalized tutor to each and every one of us. What does it take to build AI for 1.4 billion people? At the recent Google I.O. Connect in Bengaluru, we sat down with Manish Gupta, Senior Director at Google DeepMind, to find out. From open sourcing models like Gemma, to collaborating with Indian startups solving problems in healthcare, language and education, DeepMind strategy is deeply local and boldly global. And it's not just talk. These models are cracking IIT entrance questions, winning medals at the International Math Olympiad, and running efficiently on devices with just 2 GB of RAM. Let's get into it. So uh, thank you, Manish, for taking the time to speak to us. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Manish, to begin with, I mean, today's keynote session, we focus a lot on the startup ecosystem. Uh, you called out a lot of names over there. So just to begin with, uh, you started with Bharat Jain. Uh, you can just tell me a bit about the collaboration that you're having. With them. Yeah, so uh, a lot of these startups, it's very heartening to see startups building solutions that handle the diversity of languages yeah. and cultures in India. So our team has been also at the forefront of doing research as well as making sure that our models do very well. Yeah. So we are taking a very collaborative approach where in addition to demonstrating kind of really strong performance, high quality uh, on all of these Indian languages in our Gemini 2.5 uh, Pro uh, models, we have been, many of these capabilities have moved into our Gemma uh, family of open models and we have been taking this very collaborative approach to make these models available to startups. Yeah. So it was again very heartening to see Sarvam, which again I really respect those guys a lot. I've known them personally for many years, yeah. uh, uh, using Gemma models for this translate model that yeah. they recently launched, which translates across all 22 scheduled languages of India yeah. and then also uh, two other uh, startups supported by the India AI mission, yeah. uh, Gyani and Socket, uh, using Gemma models. So again, it feels very good that we are helping the Indian startups, which are, which are playing such an important role in building these capabilities out of India. We are helping them in their journey. So is there any criteria for the kind of startups you kind of, you know, collaborate or you want to kind of push and progress in, in the country? Uh, see, we uh, are always looking for startups which are pushing the boundaries. So at least we at Geek, Google DeepMind get particularly excited about those startups that are really, really ambitious. Yeah, yeah. And it's so heartening to increasingly meet mm -hmm. more. Uh, we s meet startups which are, again, into drug discovery, yes. using, again, uh, uh, models like AlphaFold, as well as developing their own diffusion models yeah. uh, to come up with new molecules. Uh, 
uh, as well as uh, yesterday I met the startup which is into brain mapping, one of the said two startups in the world globally, yeah. which is uh, using AI for uh, brain mapping. Yeah. Uh, so it's again always exciting to see such startups doing cutting edge work uh, and and uh, as well as startups that are solving such important problems, right? Like for instance, learning, I continue to look at that as an extremely important problem for us as a country uh, to really make our children and finally even adults, right? Be able to learn uh, uh, new skills. Uh, so, so we see again, with the advanced capabilities, right? In fact, we demonstrated some of that today at yeah. the keynote. Yeah. Uh, we see this vision of a very powerful universal digital assistant uh, that can start serving as a personalized tutor to each and every one of us. We see that become a, a reality. Mm -hmm. uh, to us, that is very exciting. And again, uh, we are working with a number of startups which are using these models to offer, again, very customized solution, right, for their set of customers. Yeah, got it, Manish. So, uh, is this problem, I mean, in India specifically, there's always the talk of compute problems and the cost and efficiency. So, is how is Google kind of plugging in that gap? Like, yeah, so, so, again, um, I would say my team uh, has uh, very proud of the work that my own team has done in Bangalore at making our models extremely cost efficient. So we talk about being at the Pareto frontier of these models where not only are we building the most capable models like Gemini 2.5 Pro, we are also building the most capable per rupee or per watt. Uh, there is that misconception in India that today, okay, DeepSeek provides a much higher level of efficiency in terms of cost performance, well, Gemini Flash is actually higher performing per rupee per watt than DeepSeek R1. So, so uh, in India, it's an extremely important uh, aspect uh, that many, many startups and of course customers care about. So we provide not only now the Flash models, in fact, today we announced in our keynote the flash light, availability yes. of flashlight model, which is going even smaller yes. and supporting even larger scale, right? At those same uh, price points, okay. uh, truly kind of uh, enabling developers, right? To to deal with the scale that India has to offer. Got it. And in fact, we were just talking to Omar, who was saying that even the need for smaller models is what people want. So that's why they make it more open source and open base. Is yes. that something that... I'm so so and and another innovation that i'm very proud of is this matryoshka transformer work that has come out of our team mm -hmm. uh, in fact that is part of the gemma 3 and model that we have launched on mobile phones yeah. that uh, because on mobile phones let's say you only have two gigabytes of ram uh, you don't have space for too many models okay. but with space for just one model we have built it in a in that nested manner mm -hmm. that the same model has nested inside it yeah. a whole bunch of smaller models. Correct. So now you can throw the appropriate kind of to the appropriate problem, you can choose the appropriate size model and not waste battery unnecessarily, okay. right? By using a larger model on a simpler problem. Right. And of course, the obvious question of uh, you have even uh, bigger tech, I mean, big tech companies like OpenAI, Meta having their own models, uh, Meta, especially with the Llama open source model. So how does Google kind of, you know, make sure that your developers come to Google and probably not to the other? So our focus is on just building better <laughs> models. And I think you're seeing the results of that. A uh, whole bunch of companies beginning to adopt Gemma models uh, because of their superior capabilities, because of their superior also capabilities on Indian languages. I've heard, in fact, even today, in meetings with various startup co-founders, I've heard how they found that when it comes to Indian languages, Gemini is unmatched in, in capability. So it's very good to hear. It's not just our benchmarking, which is showing uh, developers are seeing that in action. So our focus is on building the best models and hopefully uh, organizations like you, right, can spread the word and make more people realize <laughs> what right. models to use. 
Right. And and just continuing to that, I think just a few days ago, uh, Google DeepMind released that Gemini won a gold uh, gold yes. medal in IMO, right? So uh, what does this mean for AI and reasoning? Like what is the future of AI and reasoning? Yes, so what it is showing is, again, superhuman capability, right, on these tasks yeah. uh, that requires such advanced reasoning. Uh, I shudder to attempt problems in International Math Olympiad uh, because those are extremely hard problems. Yeah. And we are, again, uh, this Gemini model uh, solved five out of the six problems that were given. So it's at that gold medal level performance. And likewise, uh, yes, I did uh, go through the JE exam for IIT entrance. And today, these Gemini models are showing kind of performance uh, right at the top of uh, in, in very tough exams like joint entrance exam for mm -hmm. IITs. Uh, so it's very impressive, right, to see the kind of capabilities. But of course, more needs to be done. Uh, and I ultimately think of it also as like a co-scientist, like a model can be an amazing partner, right, to each of us in our journey to learn more, as well as we have made these models like co-scientists from Google DeepMind available uh, and we have piloted this with many Nobel Prize winning scientists and yeah. they've been amazed by the kind of hypothesis that it is able to help them with, research hypothesis and yeah. helping them in their journey. Got it, got it managed. And also an observation on how I think Google focuses a lot on medical as well, say through your alpha fold models. And I think in today's session we're talking about two startups, Cloud Physician and uh, August AI, which is again into health tech. So is there like, I mean, you are voluntarily choosing, like, I want to love to focus on the health tech aspect or the need is more for that particular sector? Yes. So we've always thought of health as one of those really tough problems for humanity yeah. uh, where AI can make a transformative difference, right? All the way from helping us find cures for diseases. There are so many diseases. Oh that today do not have cures. Yes. So I think we as humanity, we need to find mm -hmm. those cures, uh, as well as improve the quality of health, right? In a country like India, uh, vast parts of our country, right? The primary healthcare centers don't even have medically qualified doctors uh, available. Uh, and you have ASHA workers doing an amazing job. Can you empower the ASHA worker with these AI models, right? To do a much better job of even like triage, of helping people with issues that they can uh, take care of yeah. and, and where needed, right? Then direct them towards medically qualified doctors. Just one last question. Uh, your future vision for the Indian developer ecosystem? Uh, my vision is that Indian developers, again, continue to take on bigger and bigger ambitious challenges because, again, in my view, it's not lack of talent that we have often sometimes we lack that ambition and that confidence to take on really really tough challenges yeah. uh, and there is no shortage of challenges that we see in our own country Absolutely. but i really uh, am very looking forward to more and more of startups the kind that i've been meeting yeah. take on bigger and bigger ambitious challenges both for india and for the world at large, right? And place India at the forefront of a deep tech nation. All right, great, great. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Manish, for this Thank you. insight. Whether it's enabling ASHA workers with AI or pushing India's compute frontier through cost-efficient models, Manish Gupta's vision reflects a tectonic shift in how AI is being built for and from India. At Google I.O. Connect in Bengaluru, one thing was clear. India's deep tech ambition is real and it's being recognized on the global stage. That's it for this episode of Point Break. I'll be back with more such interesting interviews with leaders shaping the future of AI. Until then, stay sharp, stay curious. Think AI, think AIM.